on a review on my LS2 helmet. Um, after I've had this, I've put probably 500 or so miles uh, since I've had this helmet. The helmet I had before, and I still do like this helmet, um, is a uh, Fulmer. I guess you can use that for a model number, if that's even their model number. I don't know. A DOT tag in the back. But uh, anyway, I got this hat when I bought my new Honda CB300F, and uh, that has been a, a good little helmet. But I wanted some more features. Um, this is a LS2 strobe. I have this yellow, obviously. Uh, it is a modular helmet. And um, what I want to comment on is just from an owner's perspective. Uh, for the best review on this that, that is out there, uh, please be sure to look at the review of this helmet by Competition Accessories. Um, they have got a absolute wonderful review on this. I can't, I can't, um, you know, say anything more than what they did uh, as far as the features. Uh, but do check out their uh, video for all the features on the helmet. Now, what I wanted to comment on something that they left out. Uh, we are just now coming out of winter time, and uh, the temperatures have been staying in the upper 30s to low, low 50s. And uh, I don't remember them mentioning this on the video. And this is very, very important. Uh, if you are in a cold climate, uh, I fought and fought with this thing. Um, if it is below, uh, much below 50, really, uh, 50 degrees outside, uh, it fogs horribly and the only way that i can keep this thing from fogging i've played with the vents i've done everything the only way i can keep it from fogging is to crack this open just it's hard to do anyway you know pop this just barely open um it's got little notches but it will ride in between i guess you would say fully closed in the first notch uh, there you can put it like halfway between those two and it does stay there uh, the problem is, when you're riding along, uh, you know, 50 mile an hour, and it's uh, 40 degrees outside, that air coming in there is very, very cold. So that is certainly something that needs to be thought about. Uh, also mentioned in their video was, you know, whatever helmet size that you get, you need one size larger. I completely agree. The former is a large. This is an extra large, uh, and it fits like a glove. So they are absolutely spot on. These helmets are, are one size off across the board, it seems. So um, if you're looking at the LS2 strobe, two things to remember. One, sizing, go up one size when you order. And two, if you are going to be uh, riding where it's cold a lot, you probably want to look at a different helmet or wear like a ski mask uh, underneath this. Um, thankfully, most people don't ride when it's that cold. Um, I, I, I ride in the winter, um, you know, not full time. Of course, I got trucks and cars I drive too, but, you know, I don't care if it's cold. I'm going to ride anyway. But, um, you know, it's not for everybody, and that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. If you're a seasonal rider, that's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, I ride because I want to, not because I have to. But um, certainly uh, that that has to be kept in mind. Other than the fogging, uh, I've had absolutely no issues with this helmet. Um, I had initially had an issue with the helmet shimmying and shaking. Um, anything up much up above about 50 mile an hour. It seemed like it wanted to shimmy and shake around a little bit and um, I, all I did was adjusted my chin strap tighter. That is one thing I do have to run it a bit snugger than, than the Fulmer helmet. Um, it's not uncomfortable but I have to keep it relatively tight uh, on that little chin strap. And uh, so after I got that adjusted to where it's it's actually a tight fit instead of just kind of loosely under my chin like I'm used to, uh, that stopped the the shimmying and shaking on it. But um, anyway, that's just my two cents worth on this helmet. Uh, would I buy again? Absolutely. And that's pretty much saying in a nutshell. I would absolutely buy this helmet again in a heartbeat.